Hey everyone, so over the next couple of minutes I'm going to tackle the question, will YouTube replace TV advertising? Now we can already hear people getting really annoyed with me for suggesting this, but bear with me and I'll show you what I mean. So let me set the scene. Globally, TV advertising is worth about 100 billion annually. And from Alphabet's latest earnings report, we can see that YouTube advertising is going to hit about 25 billion this year. And so still a big gap. And but the context is global spending on linear TV advertising is in decline, whereas over the last two years, YouTube advertising spends has doubled. But how much people are spending on an advertising channel isn't a good enough signal of its future success. So we need to look at each of these channels through the three pillars of what makes a great marketing channel and they are reach. How many people can we reach and how often can we reach them? Secondly, it's cost. How much is it going to cost us to get in front of these people? And thirdly and most importantly, it's effectiveness. How effective is this marketing channel at growing our business or growing our brand? So let's look at each of these pillars in a little more detail. So let's tackle reach. So Let's give you some context. And one of the biggest TV events globally, particularly for advertisers, is the Super Bowl. 96 million people tune into the Super Bowl once a year. On YouTube, 122 people turn into, tune into YouTube every single day of the week. So phenomenal reach on YouTube. So let's talk about cost and we'll stay with our Super Bowl example. CPMs of the Super Bowl are at about 50 euro. Um, and I can already hear you saying, well, of course they're expensive. It's one of the biggest events of the year. Um, so let's get a little bit more local and look at Ireland's version of the Super Bowl, which is the late, late toy show. CPMs there are about 40 euro. CPMs for YouTube are about three to four euro. So TV is 10 times more expensive than YouTube advertising. So is it 10 times more effective? Well, let's look at effectiveness. Now we've seen examples of where YouTube drove short-term sales directly, but we understand that that's not how we should be measuring the impact of YouTube or TV advertising. We like to measure the impact of YouTube through its long-term impact on search behavior. And I've linked to a recent case study below, but you'll see that within this case study, we were able to demonstrate that viewers of our brand's YouTube ad were twice as likely to convert than non-viewers. And we were able to measure that through non-brand ROAS. And so a phenomenal impact over the long term on search behavior. Now I'm not for a second suggesting that TV isn't as effective, it's just a lot more difficult to measure its effectiveness, particularly over the long term. So there you have it. Based on those three pillars, you can see how YouTube will continue to gobble up ad spend from TV. And maybe my mad question isn't that mad, but in actual fact, I've asked the wrong question because the question I should have asked is, will YouTube become TV advertising? Because believe it or not, already 40% of YouTube views happen on a connected TV device. Um, so listen, that's it from me. If you'd like to hear more, sign up for our newsletter. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.